Brittany Carmichael here, bringing you your live weekly Woo Woo Wednesday Tarot reading, where I tune into the energy of the cards and see what comes up for us. And today I have my original, check this out. So it's important to always keep your tarot cards like stored in something natural. So I use this um, linen, cotton linen bag. Um, and this is my original deck that I started practicing with. Um, ooh, when did I start practicing? Maybe five years ago. Um, and I went into a psychic's place and she said, oh, honey, you have, you have a gift. You need to buy yourself some tarot cards. And I had no idea what she was talking about. However, that intuitive voice was like, yeah, I know. Like, I always trust myself, but I wasn't always trusting myself. I always heard the inner voice, but I wasn't listening. And the cards actually turned into a spiritual tool that has helped me to confirm that my inner voice and what I know to be true is actually being reflected in the cards. So the cards don't have the answer. They're a reflection of your own answer. So I wanted to bring it back old school and go with my Morgan Greer tarot deck. So I'm excited to bring you this reading. Hello. Say hello if you're here live. Where are you joining from? So exciting. We have a new moon next Tuesday. And I have a super exciting announcement for um, a free masterclass that I will be hosting on the new moon to help you turn on your manifesting power. So I'll be hosting a free manifest your dreams masterclass on Tuesday, January 16th um, at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time so that we can come together and I can teach you three simple ways to manifest how you can create clarity and confidence on what it is you want. So I'll be leaving the link in the comments below. It's brittanycarmichael.com slash manifest dash masterclass. Let me just do that real quick. Um, so if you want to learn how to turn your manifesting skills on then master class then you want to you definitely want to join this free training and if you're here on instagram you can check out the link in my bio so manifest your dreams master class is happening on the new moon next tuesday um, January 16th, so I can teach you three simple ways to manifest because here's the truth. You're always manifesting. Here's tip number one. You are always manifesting at all times, but I'm going to teach you to manifest what you do want because what most of you are failing to realize is that your worry is a request. Your worry turns into a form of manifestation and it brings you what you don't want. So I'm going to teach you guys how to bring you what you do want. All right, let's dive into this week's reading. How are you guys doing? What's the energy like for you? What's been coming up? Any, um, anything you guys want to share? Say hello. Where are you guys at? Hello, Jessica. Um, hey, Claire. So good to see you guys. All right. Whoop. Okay, cards are flying. So I love working with this deck because, um, <laughs> like I said, this was the first deck that I ever practiced with. Um, I was a little scared of it. <laughs> and that is why I'm bringing you guys a tarot um, uh, course this year. So you can begin to practice your spiritual journey through the tools of tarot. All right, let's see what's coming up. Mm, nope, you don't want to come out. All right, we'll keep shuffling. Energy that has come up is releasing, Anne says. Uh, oh, okay, I'm going to take this card because he just made... <laughs> I made a big disturbance in the deck. Okay, and the way you shuffle is um, however you please. You just want to trust what feels right for you. And when they pop up or flip over, that's a great sign that that card is meant for you. Again, the tarot works on law of attraction. So whatever you're thinking or feeling is going to be reflected back to you in the cards. And the way this works is that we all tune into how we're feeling. What thoughts come up when I read these messages to you? And that's how you directly apply it to your life. Danielle says, hey, Britt, you're seriously glowing today from hair to makeup and outfit. Thank you for noticing, Danielle. Chris and I just finished up our live training inside the Elevated Life monthly membership. It was our first month to launch, so it was very, very exciting. We are on fire today with teaching, so I can't wait to see what comes up. Um, I'm in a super elevated mood, not that that's unusual, but I just feel super high energy, so I'm going to send you guys some extra love and light today. Um, Britt, how are you? Lori, I am doing fabulous. Had so much fun in our monthly membership. 
And do you guys know about that? Do you guys know Chris and I teach every month live inside our membership club? Um, be sure to reach out if you're ready to elevate your life. We will support you along that journey. Tammy says, doors are opening and I'm being led. Awesome, awesome. All right, anybody else? Hey, Brianna. Cool. All right, let's dive in. Ooh, the first card that comes up is number nine, the Hermit. This is a card of spiritual attainment and self-discovery and enlightenment. So it falls in the major arcana. So it's a major turning point or an archetype in our life, in our spiritual evolution. Um, so before I dive in, I just so many amazing souls are here today. Thank you so much for joining. If you guys have a soul sister who you know would love this message, go ahead and tag them in the comments below or share this video. Um, so the hermit, this is a sign that it's time to go inward and start trusting your own inner wisdom just as i told you the cards don't have the answer you do they just teach you to look inward and go wow i was already thinking that and feeling that i, I just man i wish i would have trusted it sooner right so the hermit shows up to say hey take time to meditate take time to separate from people so many of us get distracted with our jobs and, and socializing that we don't ever spend time taking care of ourselves and it's in the quiet aloneness now you won't be lonely because you're going inward to Say hello to your soul to meet who you really are. This is the time where you look within for answers. So meditation is a great practice to begin if you're not used to turning your awareness inward. So many of us are externally stim stimulated by the internet and people and all kinds of things in our reality. So this is the time of getting quiet, getting away from it all. Um, Anne said releasing earlier. So this is, a, this is exactly what you do when you go inward. You find the darkness so that you can blast it with light and awareness so that you can begin to release what isn't serving you on your journey. That's why we go inward, to, to tune in and say, hey, where am I at? What's going on in my life? The hermit, how many of you guys relate to this? How many of you need some time out to like get yourself like grounded, to get your thoughts clear, to decide what it is that you want in your life? So beautiful card. Know that you are not alone on your journey. You're just going inward and turning your awareness inside and then you'll come back out, but you'll come back out more refined and more clear and more peaceful because you've taken time for yourself. So what do you do to um, nurture your spirit? What do you do to get quiet? Do you meditate? Do you do yoga? Do you take quiet walks outside? Do you sit in silence? Do you take a bath? How do you connect with your soul? Um, blessings from Costa Rica. Yay, Pura Vida. I love that. Okay, let's move on. Number two. The Knight of Pentacles. I love that the pentacles, pentacles come up because this is um, a sign of, you know, material and wealth and um, pra practicality. I really feel like practical is coming to mind. The Knight of Pentacles is all about taking your energy and moving forward, knowing that you are headed in the right direction. The Knight of Pentacles says, stay laser focused on the goals that you have set for yourself to bring in financial wealth or to make those changes or transformations in your life. So when the Knight of Pentacles comes up, it's saying, hey, make a methodical plan. What is that plan for you? I mean, January, New Year, it's the perfect time to begin to think about, well, you know what? Last year, I really sucked at like schedule, pri prioritizing my schedule. And this year, I'm gonna have laser focus on prioritizing every day. So when I wake up, I'm gonna write down the top three things that I need to get done that day. And then the next steps that I need to take working on my projects. And I think that will really make a difference in this year's um, outcome for me and what I experience. So what is that for you? Where do you need to make a methodical plan? You know, so many of us are intuitive, so we just spontaneously just follow our blah, blah. You know, I do that all the time. But what I realize is that it, it's important to have a plan in place, but be spontaneous with the plan. So have that foundational, be, use your analytical brain for what it was meant to do and make a list of all the things that you need to, you know, put under your belt in order to make those changes or to learn the skills that you need to learn. It's going to take a practical approach. So I want you to make a plan, but be flexible with the plan. And if something, if you take five steps down the plan and then you have a brand new opportunity or a new solution or perspective, go with them, you know, bring in the new information and then make a new plan from where you're at in that moment. So the plan must be updated. 
but you have to you have to take action. So um, Knight of Pentacles, this is saying stay practical, make a plan, stay focused, keep going for what you want. And um, this also is a card of standing up for what you believe in, you know, so our work, our, everyone's saying purpose, our purpose. Well, you're here. That's your purpose. That's enough. Just be you. But it's how you want to sh show up and serve the world. So this is a reminder to ask yourself, do the actions that I take align with the passions and the skills and the talents that I naturally have? Your life will begin to flow so much easier when you step into that realization that you can do anything you want. And when you commit to your passions and the things that make you excited, then you're no longer working and you're naturally do serving your purpose because your purpose is to feel joy. And that comes with choosing your passions and standing up for what you believe in and no longer saying yes to that nine to five because of the comfort and security because that is a total load of crap <laughs> because I make so much more money as an entrepreneur and trusting my own self than I ever did working to build someone else's dreams. I mean, amen, right? <laughs> how many of you are entrepreneurs, um, solopreneur, whatever. If you have a, like, how many of you are following your dreams right now? Leave in the comments. What do you do? What's your dream? What are you do? What are you going after? I'd love to know. All right, let's move on to the last card for the week. How are you guys enjoying this? Let me hear you. Um, oh, what a nice one. So um, two of cups. The two of cups is like the lover's card in the major arcana, but it is not quite as powerful. So this is saying you want to team up with a partner. This, um, this could be a couple of things. The first thing that's coming to mind is that you want to team up with people who share your vision. You want to team up with like-minded people. That's exactly why I created the Shine Tribe Sisterhood that so many of you are already a part of because I felt alone on the spiritual inward journey. And so I knew that that I wasn't the only one feeling that way. And that is why I created a private Facebook group where all of us could come together and go, hey, you're not alone, we're suffering. Okay, we need, oh, guess what? We just learned how to set boundaries and let me share my experience with you. Because when you share your story and your experience with other people, that's how you teach and that's how you heal and that's how you spread love to everyone. So it's in sharing your stories. The other thing that um, resonates from this card is that this is a card of partnership. So this is, you know, if you're single and you're wanting to bring in that soulmate, the, the best advice I have for my clients wanting to attract their soulmate is to find within them where they feel like they, they need someone else to love them. What particular area does that resonate with you in? Because once you begin to fill that gap with your own love, you then begin to attract that partner that's gonna give you exactly what you are wanting. Danielle says, I was actually thinking about that for 2018. I wanted to gather three to five business besties to do a once a month coffee talk, even over Skype or maybe lead to collaborations. Danielle, it sounds like you wanna run a mastermind. I think that's incredible. And you know, when you team up your imagination with other people, you begin to manifest so much faster. And that's exactly why I've created the free Manifest Your Dreams Masterclass. It's going down next Tuesday, the 16th on the new moon. So we can set new intentions and really live and step into the life that we want to live. This is yours to decide, yours to create. So, okay, let's go back. Number two, number two of cups. Twos also represent decision. So uh, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit, this is saying, hey, what's most important to you? Just like we talked about, what is most important to you so that you decide 100% because here's how manifesting works. You decide. Thank you for posting that, Anne. And if you're um, here on Instagram, then you can check my link in bio for the masterclass details. So decide what it is. What is it that you want? What do you want 2018 to be like? What do you want to experience? Where do you want to travel? How do you want to feel? All of these are up to you. What job do you want to pursue? What are you most passionate about? Who do you want to become? And what will it take for you to step into that vision that you have for yourself. What is holding you back? So this card says, make a decision and know that you're not alone. You have the support around you of us here. We're all gathered together. We all have the same interests. We're growing and seeking our own um, truth and, and to show up in the world with courage and confidence and continual loving kindness. That's a practice, people. <laughs> I mean, to be love, that takes practice and you have to do the work on yourself first. So decide. What is it that you love? And begin to fill your life with that. Let me hear you in the comments. What are you most passionate about? What do you wake up thinking about, you know, when you're in your free time? What are you daydreaming about? Because your daydreams hold 
the vision of what you're meant to do here. Um, I've been looking for a mastermind and I join. Um, I don't know how to connect you to <laughs> Danielle Cliff, Danielle Marie Creative. That's what her name is on, um, on, Instagram, on Instagram. Correct me, Danielle, if I'm wrong. So you can reach out to Danielle. Um, I want to attract my tribe. Lori, perfect. Be the person you want to attract and you will attract them. Anne says traveling. She loves to travel. Where do you want to go, Anne? Get specific on the location because the more specific you are, the more details that you provide, the easier it is for the universe to bring you exactly what you want. So this week is a time of turning inward and trusting your own wisdom, standing up for what you believe in and making that firm decision that you will go after your dreams, that this is the time, now is the time, and to surround yourself with like-minded people. So if you want to, yes, Danielle Marie Creative, I'll put it in Instagram Live. Perfect, Danielle, sweet. Okay, um, if you want to join a tribe, um, I invite you to join the Shine Tribe Sisterhood where you are held accountable and you are surrounded by like-minded soulful sisters who are wanting that same transformation in their life, healing themselves and creating more joy and creating happiness. I mean, we would love to have you there. Um, Anne says, Fort Rock, Smith Rock, the ocean, Painted Hills, Canada, Iceland. Yes, love it. Woo -woo, Iceland. Um, Danielle, yes, I'm interested. That's so awesome. Um, <laughs> so cool, Danielle. Look, it, look how easy that was, guys. She's already started to manifest. People are already starting to be attracted to her vision. And her vision was to team up with other women to hold each other accountable. I mean, how beautiful is that? We're watching it right here. Danielle, you're quick, girl. <laughs> you're awesome. Um, okay, guys, any questions that you have for me for this week? This was a great reading about trusting your own inner wisdom, going within, meditating on what it is you really want for yourself and setting up a practical long-term plan that will help you to stay accountable for moving forward and having the decision that this is exactly what you're going to do. You're not going to let fear hold you back and you're going to surround yourself with people that support your dreams so that it makes it easier for you to continue down this path of discovery. Thank you so much for joining me live and for anyone watching the playback. Thank you for joining me on this week's Woo Woo Wednesday. I love tuning in and sharing the energy and inspiring you guys to trust yourself and have confidence to go after your dreams because you ultimately are here to create a more beautiful world by tuning in to what lights you up because it's the energy that you bring to every moment. When you're excited, when you're feeling joy, when you're feeling passion, it's that energetic contribution that counts not your CEO titles, not your bank account, not how much money you have, none of that matters. It's the energetic contribution that you make. So feel, jo choose joy and radiate love. You are here to shine bright. So step into that version of yourself that feels 100% confident, that drops fear and says, you know what, I'm gonna believe in my visions and this is gonna be the moment where I reclaim my power and say, yes, I can do this. The only thing stopping you from achieving your goals is the story that says that you can't. So find that story and shift it to one that says, I freaking can and I will. I'll see you guys on Friday for the Elevated Life series. And if you guys want to learn my three secrets to manifesting, so simple, guys. You're already doing it, but you're just doing it a little bit off want to teach you how to manifest exactly what you want, then join my free upcoming Manifest Your Dreams Masterclass on Tuesday, January 16th. It's on a new moon so that we can really um, harness nature's natural energy to help us set new intentions. So join me by clicking on the link um, in the comments below, the Manifesting Masterclass, and sign up so that we can put our imaginations together and create at an even rapid rate. And I will see you guys on Friday for the Elevated Life series. Be sure to sign up for that masterclass and I will see you guys later. Bye.